In this video, I'm going to show you how to use contracts in HoneyBook. This is kind of new how they're doing it. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer. I love to teach people how to start and grow creative businesses. One big part of that is having a great client management system like HoneyBook. I have reviewed and tested so many features in a bunch of different client management systems, including HoneyBook. So check those out all over my channel. We have a full playlist on all of them. And if you do decide to work with HoneyBook, I can get you 35% off with the link in the description of this video. So let's talk about contracts today. Contracts are so, so, so important. I have a whole other video about contracts for stationary designers. If you're also a stationary designer, uh, definitely take a look at that for some terms you might want to include in yours. When we're in HoneyBook, we just want to go into templates. Contracts used to be kind of a separate thing that you could do uh, by itself, but now you can incorporate them into your smart files. So smart files are basically all the forms that you're going to send to your client. And as you can see, this includes invoices, contracts, questions, services, schedulers. And if you select invoice and contract, you'll see what's called a proposal. So um, in this case, it's now part of the smart files as like invoice contract. So we'll just click on contract and we'll see a proposal here. So an example of a smart file, this one includes an invoice and then on page two, we have our contract and then on page three, they can actually make a payment here by just clicking through all of this. The so smart file includes the, the invoice, the contract and the payment and it can include so many other things like explanation of services, a form for them to fill out, just so many things. Uh, but here is the contract option and you can see that uh, most of mine is actually custom, but I had HoneyBook help me kind of upload it into the system. If you switch from a different system, they will actually help you with that. And all these blue things are what's known as a smart field. So if I were to go in here and click add smart field, um, we would be able to select the content of that. So maybe the first client's first name, um, they can edit it or they can't edit it or they must fill it, etc. And then our, and then we can put placeholder text in there. So it could just be first name. And the field content is whatever it's going to populate on a particular job. So I've already mapped this to the first client first name. So whenever I incorporate this contract on a job, it's going to fill in the contact information of that person. And as you can see, you can do this with so many different things. You can do a phone number, um, email address, event type, um, venue name, agreed upon date. This is the total price for the services. So there are just so many things here, like first payment amount, due date, second payment amount, etc. Um, so you could fill in so many things and it happens automatically. So if you wanted to put a schedule here, this is the payment schedule. Um, it's going to automatically fill in in every contract. So I think that's really powerful from a contracting perspective because you can fill in things specific for each job without actually having to fill them in. I don't have to go and find out what their payment schedule is or how much they're going to owe on each payment. I can just have it automatically fill in. And when I create their invoice to attach to this, it's going to automatically fill in all of that information. So I have signatures on specific information related to this job. I don't just have signatures that say, you know, the invoice amount, the total amount, the proposed amount. I have these specific amounts here. Um, that's gonna help protect me if anything comes, you know, to legal issues, we'll whisper it because we don't hope, we hope that doesn't happen. Uh, but you can see so many different smart fields in here. There are just a ton of options that you can use. And I'll show you how to create these templates. So you'll just go to create new in your template folder and we'll do a contract. Up here is going to be our company information. You can change this if you want. And then these are all of the contract terms and this is where you're going to put, paste it. If you want to go to the template library, you can do that from there or you can do it from right here, this template gallery. And you can just select contracts and you'll see a ton of different options that people have created in varying amounts of uh, kind of aesthetically pleasing versus functional, you'll see a lot of different options. So this is an example of one. And this smart file includes services, invoice, contract, and payment. And you could edit this as needed, but I think this is a good place to start. So you can see um, right here, we'll have this custom proposal. We will be able to continue the details. They'll have the invoice in here. 
and then we'll be able to continue to the contract. And here's what that looks like. So then you'll be able to use whatever of these clauses um, from this template one work for you and then change out some other ones. So if you want to specifically uh, look for something that's for styled shoots, for instance, proof sign up, design contract, floral proposal, events, etc. Um, then you'll be able to do that cancellation amendments, um, non disclosures, photography. So depending on your industry and exactly how you want to use this, you can often find some templates in here that have uh, pretty good options. So like for the let's do the styled shoot, that's something that I might use. I can read through like this photo release agreement and then I can see, you know, I can edit the credits here using those smart fields. So for instance, if you want a cancellation amendment, if someone wants to cancel something, then you can go in here and you'll see all of the terms of cancellation here. You can select which ones work for you and get rid of the ones that don't. I wouldn't say I would necessarily trust these 100% to be fully legally bound for your industry, especially if you make changes or add or subtract anything. Uh, so you'd still want to have that looked over by a lawyer to make sure it's good to go but these are really good places to start and it might save you the cost of having to purchase a contract template but then you could just pay for someone's time like an hour to go over it and make sure it's good to go and make any changes that need to be there so these templates are a really great place to start and then if you were to import them so you could just click edit this template and then I could go in and fill in my information. So I could replace this image with something from my gallery, change the color to be something from my brand colors, etc. These are not my brand colors, but that's what's saved into my Honeywick account right now. Um, and then I could go through and edit it for what I needed. And this is like a little cool little intro YouTube video. So there's a lot of information you can put into these smart files and I won't go into that too much because I do have another video on smart files, uh, but we'll go into the contract page specifically and show you everything that we have here. So right here we have, this is the date that you're going to enter it, the project date and location. It's going to pull all this information for the client. Um, and then you have all the different terms and services. So if we were to click update, this would save it into kind of my account, my templates. We'll see this proposal and client onboarding. And then from here, we can share this with another HoneyBook member, or we can go into our projects and share it really easily with um, each individual person. So I could do send a smart file. I could select this particular one edit it as needed for this particular client. If there's anything that I need to change specifically, I might change out the invoice. Um, if the invoice is not going to be the same for this client as it would be for everyone. And then I can just click share to send it to Laney's file. And then lastly, if you go to tools automations, you can actually send these contracts via smart file via an automation. So this means you won't actually have to do anything, but you can send it to send the smart file. Um, via email and this is immediately after it is activated but you could also change this action to send like before or after a project date or the end date or after the contract is signed you can send some things after a questionnaire or brochure is submitted just all kinds of things after a session is scheduled for instance you could send them a contract smart file but there's so many things you can do here so i don't like to think of smart files just as contracts because they can honestly be so much more than that so this gave you a good overview of using contracts in HoneyBook. They have those wonderfully helpful templates that can get you started. Or if you have a contract from another system, they can typically help you bring it over when you switch to HoneyBook. If you're interested in joining HoneyBook for the first time, you can use my link for 35% off of your first year. And I hope that you'll watch some of our other videos on HoneyBook here on our client management playlist. Thanks, everyone.